the team from Kelney GVG were working with GRA and the NCA would come. They get this data, they come, they ask questions. They come, they ask questions. But there's not been any report that have been submitted that has said that, you know, we've seen 470 million as potential under de declared taxes. So what is your answer to that? Between 2015, the historical one, neither have there been from 2017, first quarter, to uh, 20, to date, where they've come and they said, we are estimating 300 million, you know, that has not, that those conversations have not happened. You know, something you need to bear in mind that we're dealing with, um, Entities that we're dealing with, these are not sole proprietorships, where you own the business yourself. These are entities that have shareholding, and uh, all of them are multinationals, and some of them have shareholding structures where Ghanaians, common Ghanaians, all own shares in it. So you have the shareholders sitting on one part, then you, they have appointed a board that have fiduciary responsibility to these shareholders. And these shareholders, these boards have then appointed managers who work on their behalf. So it is very important that for, for the board of directors themselves, the revenue numbers are correct. Because if the managers begin to be able to under declare revenue, then even potential dividends that should be paid to the investors. But their potential return on investment can be compromised. So because of that, there are very stringent management and revenue assurance schemes that have been put in place to ensure that the investor who is sitting far away and has put his CD, his dollar, into this business is guaranteed a return on investment. So the issues of revenue under declaration, really, it's, it's very far-fetched. So then do you feel that you are being called criminals. Well, definitely anybody who is said to have under-declared taxes, that's, that's definitely borders on criminality. So uh, I wouldn't, I'm just saying that if you, if you have actually under-declared tax, that borders on uh, criminality. And the telecoms industry would not do that, have not done that. And that's a point that we want to put, that we, it's not in the very interest of the business to do that.